All right, who's ready for a collection update video? And this one is going to be just my 164 next gen cars. I'm not gonna show my 124s, that's gonna be a separate video, but I'm gonna show off the 164s because my collection has definitely grown and I'm just gonna briefly show you them. I'm not gonna go into in detail and like take them out of their little boxes that they come in. So I'm just gonna show you them. And uh, yeah, so this is what's new in the uh, collection. So right off the bat, I'm gonna show you the ones I've showed before. The first one's Alex Bowman's 2022 Ally car. This is the regular clean version, obviously, not his Las Vegas race win, so there's that. And then I have Chase Briscoe's Mahindra Tractors, number 14. Again, just the regular same car, not his uh, Phoenix win. Of course, I bought the basic versions instead of their race wins. I have a couple race wins that I will show you, but uh, I should have waited. Here's Ryan Blaney's Libman Menards, number 12. Saw one of the Menards cars in person at uh, Pocono. I don't remember what, I think it was the Richmond sponsor. Here's Eric Jones's Focus Factor. Now I know he won at Darlington in this car. I don't think they're making a 164 scale version of it, uh, the raced win, but um, they are doing the 124 obviously. So I don't know, we'll see if I pick up the uh, 124 Darlington Eric Jones win. I might now that I think about it, but um, I don't know, as time goes on, we'll see. All right, so here's William Byron's Exalta, the regular 24, the normal Exalta uh, paint scheme. There's been a couple variations of it throughout the season, such as his uh, Darlington throwback to Jeff Gordon's 07 DuPont car, which was like my favorite car growing up is that 24 DuPont car. That's what got me into, um, well, he was my first favorite driver I cheered for as a kid was Jeff Gordon, so. And I do have his 124 Darlington car already, so there's that. Obviously, here's Harrison Burton's Dex Imaging number 21 with the correct windshield banner. His regular Motorcraft one that got released was the 2021 uh, windshield banner, which was interesting that they uh, put that on the next-gen car. This car actually just got released for 2023, except in the die-cast chassis versions. Chris Buescher's fifth third bank car with the uh, metallic or chrome numbers. You can see it looks purple in person. It's supposed to be blue, but it looks purple. I don't know if it looks like that on camera or not, but uh, yeah, it's just interesting. I guess it's just the way it is in the light, but there's that. And again, I don't think it's really any different to his 2023 release. I think the uh, outline on the 17 actually is uh, more yellow, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. So here's his teammate, Brad Kozlowski. This is his Daytona dual win. If I can get you to see it. Number six, Kohler, dual number one win. Of course, Busher won number two. But here's his regular Kohler generator scheme. Not too dirty for a uh, raced win, obviously. You know, those Daytona dual win cars uh, aren't really too dirty. Here's a race win. Kyle Larson's HendrickCars.com. You can see the confetti over it. This is from Auto Club? Yep. Hendrick Cars number five, Auto Club win, California. So, yeah, this was their first race back there since uh, 2020 when Alex Bowman won it in the 88. So, at least they went back to it. The last 18 Interstates Batteries car we will see for a while. Kyle Busch, obviously, going to RCR, driving the eight now. So, Interstate Batteries. I think are still going to be a sponsor for Ty Gibbs because he's bringing the 54 up to replace the 18. So I think Interstate Batteries will still sponsor that. But again, the 18, we're not going to be seeing it at least for another year in the uh, next gen. Well, I know there's something we're not going to see for a long time, if not ever again. M&M's on the 18. M&M's and Mars, the candy company, officially left NASCAR. They are gone after... Ah, oh, man, I can't even tell you how long. At least 50 years, right? Um, sponsoring? No, it can't be that long. But they've been with NASCAR pretty much the entire time I've uh, grown up watching it. So here's the Darlington throwback Kyle Busch M&M's car. The final M&M's car to be made. Um, this came out after his uh, Bristol Dirt win. So this is it. The last M&M's 18 car to come out. Pretty special. And crazy. And I'm lucky to see the actual 18 car race in person when he was leading half of Pocono this year and ultimately lost and got disqualified 
because Hamlin won the race and Kyle Busch finished second, and they both got disqualified, and Chase Elliott ended up winning the race without even leading a single lap, so that was weird. Daniel Suarez's Comscope car, another car I saw in person, twice, his last-gen car, and then this is the next-gen one, so that's that. Trackhouse Racing teammate Ross Chastain. This is his Talladega win. Moose Fraternity Talladega win. Uh, you can see the confetti up on the roof. Awesome car. I cannot wait for his uh, Checkers or Wreckers uh, version to come out. I got the 124 scale version of that, which is this car, the Moose Fraternity, on the way. Uh, dual autographed by Justin Marks, the uh, co-owner of Trackhouse, and Ross Chastain, of course, on the windshield. So I am really excited to get that car in 124. So that's going to be on the way probably in April of 2023 this year. So I don't know. We'll see. Here is one of, I think, two die-cast body and chassis cars I own. I said I wasn't going to get any more after I showed the Harvick gear wrench one, but uh, ended up getting the Noah Gragson Wendy's car, so here it is. Again, it's just the metal uh, chassis part on the bottom. The wheels aren't rubber. Nothing else is special on it. It's just what's plastic on the bottom is metal, so, you know. Cole Custer is number 41, and this is... The last time Cole Custer will be in the 41 that we'll see because Ryan Priest got called up and he's going to be driving the 41 for 2023. Cole Custer is back in an Xfinity in the double zero car. So I like Cole Custer and I like Ryan Priest, so I'm happy about it. Either way, it's a win-win. I think Priest is going to do great. Here's Austin Cindric's number two auto trader. I think this orange auto trader car actually got canceled for 2023. So if you were trying to get this car for 2022 or waiting for 2023, you're going to have to get it now with this 2022 version because, like I said, it got canceled, I believe. So, I don't know. Interesting that uh, some of these cars got canceled. Here's another Ryan Blaney car. This is his Menards Pennzoil scheme. This uh, scheme got uh, pretty rare in the last gen, actually the gen 5 I think it was, when he won at the Roval, he was the first Roval winner with this paint scheme, that car got crazy rare because it was the first Roval weight race and that was the only time he could get that paint scheme, so they brought it back for the next gen and I um, ah, figured I'd get the 164 scale just in case, so he didn't win any actual races this year, he won the all-star race, but uh, yeah, no... Uh, major races here is kurt bush's money line kurt bush announcing his retirement because he had a concussion at pocono everything happened at pocono it's it's weird but um he like got loose on turn three and like the back end of the car smashed into the wall and he got a concussion from that and that was it he never raced the rest of the season ty gibbs replaced him in the 45 for a little bit and then bubba wallace took over the 45 and ty went to the 23 and then at the end of the season, Kurt Busch announced that he was going to retire. So, I don't know. Hopefully, Kurt comes back for a couple races, like how Jimmy Johnson is this year. He's going to be in the Daytona 500, which is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Watch him win it. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens, uh, what Kurt's going to be doing down the road, if he ever comes back and races a race or two in the Cup Series or not. But uh, that's his money line, number 45. Here's another... Kurt Busch car, and this one is pretty freaking cool. If you ask me, number 45, Jordan Brand, Candace win. Kurt Busch's last win. Thankfully, he did win this year, his last year. Um, and this is, like, a lot of people are saying this is the car of the year. I mean, it's definitely up there. I think I have another car in mind that's the car of the year, and once it comes out and once I get it, I will review it. But um, it's not too bad itself, despite it's missing the Monster logos, because uh, Monster Energy refuses to let anything diecast wise be made with their logo on it now so there's that but that is the nice jordan 45 kansas winner next up we have ty dylan's black rifle coffee another guy who will be racing in a different car this season he's going to be racing with spire motorsports in the 77 car noah gregson will be driving the 42 this year uh, teammate with eric jones so that's going to be awesome i'm excited to see gregson driving the 42 now so We'll see how uh, Gregson does this year. I mean, he was the runner-up in the Xfinity Championship to Ty Gibbs, so, uh, you know, hopefully Gregson gets a win or two this year. It'd be really cool, honestly, if he can win, like, 
Talladega or something. Here's Todd Gilliland's first face credit card um, car. Now, originally, he ran an A&W root beer throwback car to his dad, David Gilliland, and it ran at Pocono, of course. <laughs> Again, like I said, everything happened at Pocono. It's, it's just because it was the race I went to. I wanted it to be special and get all these cars. It got canceled, so I got upset. Like, who didn't want a root beer car? So um, I was going to get a Todd Gilliland die cast one way or another, so I ended up getting his first phase chase credit card one. So there's that. <laughs> and he's staying in the 38 for this year, too. William Byron's Raptor. This is the clean version, not the raced version from Martinsville. Interesting car. I mean, it's got like this... It's not matte. It's gloss. Um, I thought it would be matte because of the, like... Uh, my cat just cried. Because of the way the car looks, but it's not. And it's um, got this, like, lime dew yellow uh, number in the lettering. Raptor. I'm not too sure what Raptor is. Unless it's, like, something to do with Exalta. Again, I don't know. But, uh... Interesting car, to say the least. Ah, we're almost done here. The collection definitely grew. Kaz Gralla's number 50 Pit Viper. Uh, I think Floyd Mayweather uh, owns this car, or is a part owner. It's like money something racing. I'm not too sure, but uh, his Pit Viper car that he raced in the Daytona 500. Someone else drove the number 50, but this is the one that uh, ran in the 500. So interesting and very cool and unique. Very colorful. Number 50, the Pit Viper sunglasses. Kaz Gralla got it, uh, 164 Next Gen die cast. It happened, folks. Chase Elliott's Kelly Blue Book, but this is the Bristol Dirt Raced version. This is the second year in a row that they've made Chase Elliott's Raced version from Bristol Dirt. They're also doing Brad Keselowski's one, too. So I didn't get the uh, number nine last year, Bristol Dirt, but figured you know i want to get a 164 chase elliott i don't have any like i don't think i've gotten no no i do i have one or a couple other no maybe two chase elliott cars from uh 2021 um i don't have any 124s from the one 2021 but uh i might get his atlanta win this year so here's his bristol dirt kelly blue book car there's some dirt scuffs on it. you can see the back fender there there's a little brush mark on there from a car that got into him. So, yeah, interesting. All right, um, here is an interesting one. This is a Hendrick Cars Darlington throwback. All the throwback cars. Alex Bowman's Ally Valvoline throwback, yet he sponsors Ally, or uh, Valvoline, and they used Ally as the sponsor for it, which is weird. There's that 24 I was talking about earlier, the throwback to Jeff Gordon. That is the car that made me fall in love with being a Jeff Gordon fan and what made me root for him all these years until he retired. That is just the car that sparked me into becoming a fan. And like I said, I have the 124 already, so pretty excited. Chase Elliott's throwback, um, it's not supposed to look like that. You can see the blue and yellow there. Um, the whole car is supposed to be blue and yellow, but he crashed it during uh, qualifying or practice, and they had to use a backup car, and they make the uh, backup car, which you can see here, which is the uh, white. So um, they did make a regular version of what the original uh, throwback was supposed to look like in 124 scale, but I didn't get that, unfortunately. It was like it was too expensive for me, for the Elite. Um, Hendrick Chevrolet's throwback Kyle Larson. I'm not sure what that the throwback is for that one, but, um, yeah, interesting. It, it was, like, one of the first Darlington cars to get revealed, too, and there's that. All right, so, finally, I'm going to show you because he's my favorite driver. Hopefully he doesn't retire this year because it's his last year with Stuart Haas Racing, as far as I know. Kevin Harvick, his gear wrench, number four. This is the die-cast body and chassis one, the uh, only... Kevin Harvick diecast body and chassis number four I have. There's that one. Here's his bush light for the farmers. It's supposed to have John Deere on it, but John Deere won't let anything with their name be made on it in a die cast for NASCAR, which is weird. It's also on a base because that's just how things are now. Here's his Hunt Brothers Pizza. This one isn't on a base because it doesn't say bush light on it. They took it off for the 164. They're making a red version of this, too, that his daughter designed, so. And finally, the Bushlight Apple. 
I love the bushel out of Apple Car, man. I'm sorry. It is just my favorite Harvick scheme. And it looks great on the next gen, too. So, see, hashtag bushel out of Apple. I just got this one, too. So, there's that. And that is my current next gen collection. And here's some honorable mentions, real quick. I have three 2022 Xfinity cars, Dallin Hart Jr.'s Hellman's. This was like the first 2022 car to come out. Um, next up, I have Ty Gibbs, Darlington Interstate Batteries car. Pretty sweet car, man. Really cool. I bet this in liquid color, if they make it, I know they're doing a color chrome, would look awesome. And finally, Jeffrey Arnhart's number three forever lawn that he raced at Talladega. I think it was Talladega. I don't think it was the, uh, the spring, uh, or the summer Daytona race. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was Talladega. But yeah, there's that. All right, guys, that is it. My updated 2022 NASCAR diecast collection. The 2023s are yet to be released other than that uh, Chris Buescher car that just came out like last week. So yeah, what a collection so far. 124s are next.